Hello, beautiful Virgos. Thank you guys for tuning in to your love reading. This will be for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, check your your your, your, your North Node and your Jupiter. Um, also, for love readings, you guys, I'm going to start advising. You can check your um, what whatever signs in your seventh house. For example, if you're a Virgo, you have Aries in your seventh house. Check the Aries reading. That might be um, that might resonate with you a little bit better. Also, check what house your um, your Sun and your Venus is, particularly your Venus. So I always give myself as an example. I have Sun and Venus in the ninth house, so um, I find that Sagittarius love readings, especially Venus, I find that Sagittarius love readings um, resonate with me a lot more sometimes. Also, um, I have my email in my in the description box for you to email me any questions that you need advice on, spiritual advice, um, you're stuck on some type of spiritual situation you want to talk about, um, free of charge, but I will talk about it on my channel without saying your name. Of course, you'll be 100% anonymous unless you don't want me to bash you up. If you want to shout out, let me know, okay? And also, I'm on my way to 1,000 subscribers, and so I will start going live, doing readings, talking about spiritual things and the like okay so also this one resonates with every single Virgo that watches okay so just take what resonates and leave of the rest all right now I usually like to aim towards Virgo singles but sometimes it's not always the case and almost always there's some type of past person that comes in the person that's in your energy now take like I said take it how it resonates you may not even have a person um you know, so just take care of resonates, okay? All right. Then so we got the Ace of Swords. Oh, I need to be showing y'all the cards. I got the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, hmm, and the Hierophant. Okay. So y'all coming to some type of conclusion, you know, some type of, ooh, getting some type of clarity on something. Ooh. Hmm. So we got the Nine of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have Death. Mm. Yeah, y'all are definitely ending something. Y'all must have found out some truth about something in the Page of Wands. Yeah, this is similar, looking similar to Taurus's reading. Okay, Spirit. What's coming towards Virgo? Singles in Love. What's coming towards Virgo singles in love? Oh, the tower. Yeah, this is looking a lot like Taurus. Y'all might be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, so you guys definitely found out something. Y'all found out uh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So, y'all found out something about somebody. And... Uh, could have been a Taurus. And um, it caused this tower moment. But somebody definitely came in with some truth on that ass. And you was like, uh-uh. Or you might have found out on your own, Virgo. I know y'all like to investigate and stuff. Y'all might have found out on your own. But somebody came in and told you something. About somebody you were dealing with. Oh, baby. Y'all out here single and fine and not giving two fucks. <sighs> Child, listen. So, whoever this person was that you found out, whoever you were dealing with in the past, if you don't have a person in Virgo, if you don't have somebody you were dealing with in the past with this scenario, okay, this, this won't be your story. Um, Whatever truth came out, man, listen, somebody's upset. Listen, has all these cards that just flew all over the place. I'm not going to take these, but baby, listen. When I tell you these cards just flew almost across the damn room, I hope I can reach all of them without me getting up. Baby. Yeah, something must have pissed y'all off. That's what I'm looking. That's what it's looking like to me. Something pissed y'all off. Something about a situation made y'all mad. And you cut that shit off. Okay, spirit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we got the eight of swords. And we got the eight of pentacles. So, yeah, y'all are really just focused on y'all's work. 
y'all just focused on y'all work with this with this uh nine of pentacles here and the eight of pentacles y'all are just focused on yourselves and on your work oh we got the seven of pentacles eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles yeah y'all work y'all focused on y'all work right now y'all not really worried about um whoever this person was i'm gonna clear i'm gonna pull some clarifiers once i pull a few more for this uh this spread but um yeah what it's looking like to me because i'm not seeing a, a particular person yet except for this hierophant um but i am seeing that somebody came to you and told you something that pissed you off and it made you stop talking to them and so some of you guys might have a new job um coming as well some of you guys might have a new job or a job offer coming in it's a lot of work energy here okay yeah yeah i got the king of pentacles see taurus got this too yeah yep 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 that could also be y'all too though that king of pentacles because i see a lot of uh pentacle energy y'all's energy is all over the place on here like y'all really just focused on um money career and things like that the physical stuff tangible things but i feel like with this king of pentacles this is more than likely someone you were dealing with at one point and um this person might have wanted to marry you or vice versa they saw you as their wish fulfillment see that i was waiting on one of the kings to come out something you know what i'm saying there is a knight here but I, that just wasn't good enough for me but uh yeah you guys were with someone that you saw as like long term or vice versa. They saw you as long term. I feel like for this person, they still see you as long term and they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let go of the relationship. You got the king of cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what happened here. So we got the queen of cups. Yeah. Somebody has a lot of emotions for you, but you let go. You moved on, the Six of Swords. You let that go, and you just chilling. See how that just rolls together? You just chilling. The Four of Swords, yeah, you're not worried about no. You're not worried about this person, and they don't like it. They don't like it. Whatever you found out, you, you was like, nah. Clarify this Ace of Swords spirit. Ooh, see? Ooh, baby. I love it. I love it. You found out they was juggling. See? That's what you found out. You found out they were juggling. They was giving that wand to somebody else. The king of wands here. Might have been dealing with a fire sign. And it caused arguments. The five of swords. Yeah, you got on that ass. Seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. They were being sneaky. Look at that. And you found out about it. And, and it pissed you off. Okay, what else are we going to... uh? clarify it was something else i wanted to clarify because we got the king of cups here death tower i don't need to clarify the tower i already know what happened Ooh, oh the eight of swords so we gotta clarify this eight of swords yeah they were they were juggling and you found out about it and you got on their ass and it caused a lot of arguments and i feel like some of you guys might have forgave this person after you found out about the first incident, I feel like it was more than once that this happened. After the first incident, you found out about it and you forgave them. Because it's showing up as an ace of swords, you found out about it. And then there's a knight of swords. That's you finding out about something again. So you found out about this more than once. Spirit, clarify the eight of swords for me. Yeah. So you you left that relationship, you left that situation, and you just really been chilling. Like balance, temperance here. Might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah. You guys are coming out of um whatever mental blockages you've been having, you're coming out of that. But this also can be your person, the person that you've been dealing with coming out of uh feeling unbalanced. And wanting to come and talk to you. They want to come in and try to offer you some type of balance. But I don't think you're feeling it. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles spirit. I just I just don't see. I just I don't see you guys um, <laughs> really wanting this. Now you might. You might. I see y'all are focused on yourself. 
which is good. Y'all are just kind of focused on working and chilling and all that good stuff. It's too many cards, Spirit. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Focused on meditating and getting y'all's minds right. This is another, the temperance too is also meditation and stuff. Because I see some of you guys were kind of in some type of mental turmoil over what happened. So now with the four of swords here and the temperance here, I feel like a lot of you guys are like chilling, meditating, and not really tripping on uh what happened. Ooh. I'm telling you y'all, these cards are like going crazy. So either you still pissed about the situation or they're pissed about the situation. Oh, baby, listen. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. So we got that. So I clarified the Ace of Pentacles here because I told you guys, you guys are going to be either getting a new job or something, something finance material related here. And you got the Ten of Pentacles that came out. Hmm. The Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Man, please. You ain't worried about this person. That's probably why the asses is coming back. So things are things are about to turn around for you guys. Um, as far as your work and career and money. Like, yeah, y'all, whatever y'all are working on is about to be it's it's about to be dope. And it's gonna bring in a lot of abundance. So uh yeah, and when I said the person probably want to come in, the eight of wands came out, flipped over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now they want to try to come in and work things out when they see you doing well and you prospering and all that stuff. And yeah, and the nine of wands again, you guys, the nine of wands, you got the nine of wands here. Yeah, this person is is resilient. They're not going to let you go without a fight. But I feel like you so focused on your money and on your career. You're not worried about this person. You're not worried about this person. I feel like whoever you were dealing with is a past person. Um, you might have been with them for a long time, too. But they were definitely dealing with you and um, other people. They feel like you're their soulmate. Soulmate. Yep, they feel like you're their soulmate. Mm-hmm. And they don't want to let you go. They can't let you go. But, but Virgo, that could also be you finding your soulmate. As you're in as, as you're in the middle of your work and stuff, forgiving and learning. Yeah. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. Yeah, this is what I was saying with this eight of swords down here, you guys. Don't hold on to and also the death with you ending this. You also need to get rid of the thoughts that everybody is like this last person because they aren't. Everybody's not like them. Okay? So you de you definitely need to forgive them for your sake. So you can get what you want. Not for them. You're not forgiving them for them. You're forgiving them for yourself. It was 13-13 on the clock when I said that. <laughs> You're not forgiving them for, for them. You're forgiving them for you. Okay? So always remember that. And, and I see a lot of you are getting out of this eight of swords energy, this this uh, this mental bondage that you're putting yourselves in because of what happened in the past, which what happened with this last person. Now, if you want to deal with this person again, that's entirely up to you, Virgo. That's entirely up to you. But, you know, I don't tell people what to do. I just read the cards. That's it. That's all. OK. <laughs> all right. What then flip out? Oh. Man, okay, so calling in your soulmate, what I tell you. Yep, once you change your thought processes, <sighs> y'all can't make this up. On this card, calling in your soulmate, let me tell you what it says. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yeah, what I was saying, change your mindset. Then you got engagement. <clears throat> what I tell you, Virgo, what I tell you, just get your thought processes together. Let me see. I'm trying to keep it under 15 minutes. All right. Almost there. So thank you for watching, Virgo. I really appreciate it. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe if this resonated with you. Um, until next time, you guys. Peace out.